Hi Libra, welcome to your love reading for July 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But that's okay, you can check out one of your other signs if you want, or you can book a personal reading. And you can get all that information in the description box. Also the roles can be reversed because it is a general reading. All right, let's see what's going on with Libra for the first half of July. So for your situation, we have the Three of Cups crossed by the Ten of Swords. All right, so somebody's feeling like a reconciliation here is just never going to happen. That is just done like that. Potential is just out of the question. Um, let's see the recent past. We have the Queen of Swords. And in the near future, we have the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so... Yeah, somebody, I feel, either became... A little bit distant maybe a little bit cutting a little bit firm possibly even just demanding respect and I mean this could be you or them but I feel that because of that somebody's feeling like this just can never happen I do see some effort being being put here though in the near future let's see for you we have the four of swords for them we have the king of cups more about you is strength for them, the Eight of Swords, and potential outcome here is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, Libra. Because I do also feel like this is your energy here, so for some of you, it could definitely be that you put your foot down, you tried to demand some respect, um, you just did not want to deal with anything that is less than what you deserve. Now, for the situation though, feeling like this reconciliation can ever happen, this could be for the both of you, not necessarily just for the other person, just because you've put your foot down. It could be that for some of you, and this is just what I'm getting, um, that you deep down would still want a reconciliation with this person, but I also get that you would only want that if it was to happen in the right way, but you feel like it just, it just won't, that that possibility is done. I do see you recovering, which is why I'm saying that you would not want it to be just, you know, on impulse or if things are going to be the way that they were, that's not what you want. You are healing here. You are recovering. So there's no way that you would go back to a situation that was not in your highest good. You're also becoming very strong through this. This is an experience that has definitely made you a lot stronger. And I feel like you're still gaining that strength to recover and to deal with the situation for whatever it is. Now, the other person here, they hold a lot of emotions for you with the King of Cups. There's a lot of love here. And I do get that this person is also very aware of the feelings that they have for you. However, they're also feeling um, scared. They're feeling trapped. And it could be because you became so you just you just demanded respect basically and this person doesn't really know what to do now i don't i have no idea what the situation might be exactly or you know it's going to be different for all of you what may have happened here but this person is definitely feeling like they just don't know what to do they're thinking a lot they have a lot of emotions for you just a lot of overanalyzing and a lot of fear in their minds for the potential outcome here we do have the Queen of Pentacles. And I do see this as being you. Um, it could be them as well. We'll see. But this is you just really having found your, your well-being, your sense of well-being, feeling like you can be self-reliant, that you're grounded, and that you are pretty much abundant just the way you are. Like I said, I do see some effort here in the near future, and I do get that this is going to be them for the most part, because I feel like you you have already done that. You have already put in a lot of effort, not only to this connection, but for your own self to get to where you are. 
So let's clarify. Let's clarify the Three of Cups with the Ten of Swords. Alright, so we have the Lovers, Justice, and the Ten of Wands. Definitely a very strong connection here um, with the lovers being here. This is why you would still deep down possibly want a reconnection with this person. But again, I feel like there's just a lot of wanting to be, wanting to stick to what you believe is right. You want things to be fair. You want things to be balanced. You want things to just be done in a way where it's going to be um, in the highest good for the both of you, all right? And also having justice here, this is your energy. And you're tired. I feel like you got to the point where, you know, you, this was just weighing so heavy on you. It almost felt like, you know what? Like, this is just something I have to do for my own sake to actually put my foot down and just really stand strong. It was definitely not easy because this is definitely something that you, um, that you afterwards required a lot of healing for. And because of that, you're getting so much stronger. Let me see the Four of Swords. All right, the Page of Swords, the Six of Cups, and Death. Yeah, you, you're totally moving in the direction of what you believe to be right. I feel like you have spoken your truth, basically. And I feel like, you know, you, for some of you, you might feel like there are still some things that you would have like to, that you would like to say to this person. But then I, I it, it almost comes through as, you know what? There's no point. There's no point anymore. You know, I said what I had to say. Every other little thought that might come to my mind, you know, it's, it just wouldn't make any sense or it just there wouldn't be any point to it at the moment. But again, it feels like, you know, there's still this longing for um, this person here from your past. But at the same time, you are really processing and healing an ending. And this is helping you to transform. And I feel like it's just transforming the whole situation. So let's see what's going on with them. Let's clarify the King of Cups. The Three of Swords and the Four of Swords. All right, okay, so this person is undergoing a lot of pain. They're healing too, just like you are, okay? So here, because here's the Four of Swords showing up for them as well. But they also have the Three of Swords. So this is still a process for them. There is something that they are healing and it's not that they are getting over you. I don't see that. Um, there's a lot of heartbreak. There's a lot of pain. Because this person definitely has a lot of emotions here for you. Whatever it is that they're healing, it is something within themselves. And again, it's going to be different for, for all of you. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords, which is also in their energy. All right, the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. There's, this is a person who I feel has a lot of drive, a lot of passion. They want to take action, but there's also something that they need to, um, something that they need to release. Okay, because with that nine of pentacles showing up there, there's something that, there's a fear here, a fear that they need to release or some kind of a situation that they need to release in order to be more independent, to be self-reliant and to feel good about themselves and to feel worthy enough 
within themselves in order to actually move towards making some kind of a shift here. Something I feel needs to change that is huge in this person's life. Um, and I do get that this person may have moved towards this change at some point. But maybe didn't exactly complete that. And I feel like this has come up um, for one of the other signs. But it's almost as if they're feeling stuck when it comes to really moving towards this becoming independent or towards really finding that sense of self-worth. I actually get that these two are related, that the more that this person finds their sense of self-worth and what is it that they truly want, what is it that is going to really fulfill them, that is what is going to help them to become more independent. But in a way where where they're not going to feel threatened by a connection. It's just being independent and having that sense of self-worth in order to actually move towards changing something. And this is going to be based on their thinking, the way that they think about things, the way that they think about their own self, the way that they think about what does it mean to be um, in a connection in the way that my heart really wants, in a way where it's based on love and based on my emotions, rather than acting out of fear. And I feel like this is what, what this healing is about. So I'm also getting that this person at the moment is pretty passive. They might not really be taking any action towards you, even though they feel this love, even though there's there's this heartbreak. So let's actually see this Eight of Pentacles. Let's see what this effort is here. Eight of Pentacles in the near future. What is this about? All right, so we got quite a few here. We have the moon. The Eight of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and Judgment. Okay, so there's, there's a decision that needs to be made here that is going to be pretty challenging. It's going to be very difficult. Um, and it feels like the reason why this person is moving towards putting an effort into making this decision or some kind of a discernment, like a deep understanding about something and then actually putting effort towards... Uh, moving in that direction the reason why is because also they're feeling this this ending this ten of swords they're feeling a lot of pain it's this pain that is driving them forward and oftentimes that's what happens we need to feel pain before we can actually and then recover a little bit from that pain in order to have a rebirth which can help us to move in a, in a different direction than we were moving in before. And that's what I see here with this Eight of Cups, moving away from the fear, all right, the moon. Bringing up repressed emotions or repressed fears to the surface in order for them to be released. And then emotionally detaching from that, from those fears. And yeah, it's not easy, it's definitely not easy but what I see is there's this effort that is being made moving them towards having this rebirth, having a transformation. Um, definitely, I, I get that this is for your person here. Not that you're not going through a transformation as well. I feel like you are, but I feel like you're definitely a step ahead here and doing this in your own way. This is, you know, completely, it feels like it's a different experience for you than it is for them. You're already having found this strength. You're already, you know, um, healing to a great extent. Yeah, there might be some longing, but for you, I feel like you have transformed, whereas this person 
judgment, their own, their transformation is still in the works. It's still coming up, all right? Because this is in the near future. Th this person is still feeling this fear. Again, it is shifting. It is shifting. I do see them moving towards the shift. But, but I feel like they still have a little way to go here with that Nine of Wands. It's going to be huge though for them. I feel like this um, this judgment, I mean, this is like, it's, it's almost like a wake up call that they're getting. A wake up call which is making them really put in that effort to figure to figure themselves out, to figure out what it is exactly that needs to be released here, right? That Eight of Cups, I was talking about them needing to release something and here it is coming up in the near future. Let's see the Queen of Pentacles. All right, we have the Three of Wands and the Hanged Man. Okay, interesting. So, yeah, I definitely feel like this could be you, okay, um, for a lot of you that are watching. Like, really having found yourself and seeing the situation from a completely different point of view, I mean, that's just how you're going to find yourself. You're going to find yourself actually seeing this from a different point of view. Um, there might, I, I still get like there's this waiting energy though with the three of wands also, as well as with the, with the hanged man. Um, but if you're, even if you're still kind of waiting for this person, I feel like it's not obsessive and it's not like having these crazy expectations. Well, not crazy, but it's not really expecting that this person is going to fix anything. It's more of, you know, just keeping that open. For most of you though, now that I've clarified, I get the sense that this is, this Queen of Pentacles is your person moving towards that, that energy of feeling independent, as I said before, which is what they're moving towards. Um, but in, a, in the way where it is needed in order for them to be able to provide for this, feeling that sense of self-worth, feeling good about their own self. All right. However, it's just that it might take a little bit of time for them to, you know, get there 100%. And again, even for them, you know, it will be that things might feel a little bit passive until it actually gets to the point where this person actually feels worthy because you have really stood strong here. And that's actually a good thing because if, if they don't reach that point, well, then it wouldn't make sense for there to be a reconciliation to begin with. All right, Libra. If this resonated, let's get the final message for you. All right, and we have the full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. And I feel like that is what you, you've been doing. You know, you had a practical plan. You put your foot down. You, you allowed yourself to move towards a transformation and you were recovering. That is your plan. And I feel like your person is doing their own practical plan here, but in a way where it is just different than the way that you had to go about this. So I'm going to leave it at that and I thank you so much for watching Libra and much love.